listen, listen, listen. Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and MBs, I'm in Sydney. I'm going to tell you all about what happened. This is the part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news about what's going on in the world of Asana and I be piker in between the time period where I press the start streaming button, press the start streaming button for all the parasocialists out there. And let me tell you what quite a bit has happened. So yesterday I ended the broadcast with Matt Owens, as you guys know. Shouts out to Matt. It was awesome. Um, it was great. We had a wonderful time together talking about One Piece and weep shit. And then I literally f immediately after that flew, flew to Australia because I'm nice with it like that. I'm crazy. Camera is wrong side up. What does that mean? Oh, no, they're just they're making an Australia joke, right? See, this is exactly the kind of humor that is no longer allowed or appropriate here. OK, let me tell you something. This is a we are defending Australia out here. We're defending Australia from the Chinese. OK. We're defending Australia from the bikies, which I'm going to be talking about. Actually, I like the bikies. I'm a fan of the bikies. I want to link up with them and build. Um, but anyway, we're going to be uh, defending Australia from uh, that one on Twitter whose name I will not mention. And, um, you know, that's what that's what I'm out here to do, to learn about Australia, Australian culture, Australian cuisine, all things Australia, and also link up with the boys. So uh without further ado i mean i guess i'll bring both of you guys on and I, I i have another special guest here who's gonna show us something insane as well um let's see how we can fit everybody in here i like the plant bro i i like it here i'll take the i'll take the noise gate off too so we can like go crazy with it everybody how we also you can zoom out of that because yeah, me... I, I i was just zoomed into it because i was like i kind of i, I want to have can you like Okay, I took, the, I took the I took the noise gate off so we can so everyone can be heard. You already have a deep voice. No, but I want to speak back. Um, here, this is like, fuck. We need to like also crank up the gain probably because it's not gonna be enough because you guys. I'm gonna close this and go to the plane stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Watch someone work out where we are based on the plane oh, yeah. and flight path. Don't, don't tell them to do that. <laughs> yeah, dude. They they will do it. You don't want that. <laughs> You don't want that smoke. Um. Anyway, the boys are here, uh, I, or rather, I'm here with the boys, and we f we did it. And I'm very stoked. I'm very excited. Uh, I miss them. Audio is kind of low. Yeah, I'm gonna try to fix that right now. Actually, I'm already f hungry. It right now for me, like it's 11 here. It's Monday morning, right? I've been working on tweaking this shit, and and trying to get this setup going since like 7 a.m <laughs> yeah. yeah it took me like or not 7 a.m I, I think i came here like 8 or something um had a hard time finding the house had a had a crazy had uh, a a crazy experience with customs and border patrol uh had a crazy experience overall with oh wait maybe i can crank it from here you might be able to do it on this as well oh yeah wait let's see is, is it louder oh yeah it's much louder now yeah, i cranked nice. it up i cranked it up big time um but yeah I got on a plane, Qantas, flew on a double decker for the first time in my life, which was fire. Uh, 15 hour flight, knocked out, slept the entire time, woke up in between, tried to go online on my phone to see what the fuck was going on in the universe, realized that like the Australian flights do not actually have internet, which is weird. I'm shocked when I found that out. I think it has to do something with the satellite positioning or and this is my suspicion, and you guys can tell me. Pine gut? I, well, maybe. I was thinking more than that. Take it one step further. The world is flat. And, the on, and, and honestly, they don't want you to know because like, you can definitely tell that it's flat because you're flying from the edge of the mm, earth. True. Like It's like the same as the map, right? Oh, see, I thought Australia was the middle. Yeah, no. <laughs> is that how they show it? Yeah. Yeah. Is that how they show it yeah, on your silly ass yeah, fucking notebooks? Yeah, that's not. The world island. And yeah. Else is around us. So I think that like like just like Kyrie Irving, who is a truth teller, who first said the world is flat, or Bob, the rapper, airplanes in the night sky like shooting stars. Um, I think personally that the Earth is flat, and like they don't want you to they don't want you to let people know. They don't want you to like see that it's actually flat. And then communicate it immediately with like a photo or something. That's why they don't have the internet. Also, very weird, but they tell you, they literally tell you like, please shut off your, your windows. Oh, yeah. But well, they don't do that on other flights. That's just, that's just Australian. I thought that Wait, was normal. That's, I mean, well, they do life. do that on other flights. I'm saying that like, they do that so you don't fucking see that the mm. earth is like literally flat. Oh, I got 
Gotcha. And you're technically not even like flying over. Well, the map hasn't loaded yet. You're yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it's it's rendering. rendering. It's rendering. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on to you, motherfuckers. Okay. Don't even play with me on this shit. I know what's going on. I figured it out. They're probably gonna assassinate me for this, by the way. But it's all good. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll be fine. I'm in good company for that. So yeah, so that was one uh, one aspect of the trip that I wanted to mention. And then I land, and there's this fucking bogan-looking motherfucker standing next to the to the luggage area. I grab my luggage immediately. He rushes over to me, and he's like, "Come here, mate." Um. So uh, would you like to tell me where you're going? What are you doing? Blah blah blah. And I'm like, "Okay, fuck. Here we go. This is just like Mexico round two, okay?" Also, Australia, is it a part of the global Latina belt? Who knows? But that was very Mexico-like of them to do that to me. Um, he starts questioning me, asking me if I have, like, meats or dairy in my fucking luggage. They're really, really careful about that sort of thing here because it's a fucking island, right? Delicate ecosystem and whatever. And then, and then he's like, so who are you visiting? And I was like, oh, my friend Alexa. Like, I've, I've put your name down for everything, by the way. I just... <laughs> Nice. I put your nice. name and your phone number down for everything, and I was thinking, like, fuck, they're probably... What if On they're... List, yeah. what, if yeah, you're like, what if they... <laughs> like, you guys were, like, recently almost arrested and shit, so I was thinking, like, fuck, that's probably not the best the thing to person. do. Like, but, you know, I, I luckily, they didn't care too much uh, about that aspect. I get... Uh, I... I I knew what was gonna happen. They put me on the the classic like, all right, get over here. Let's let's uh, check your luggage. Uh, you know the the X-raying the luggage thing. The entire time he's fucking asking me these questions like, so what do you do, mate? And I'm like, I'm a Twitch streamer because I said streamer on my thing because I don't know what to write. Like I don't want them to think that I'm there for work. Yeah. Because, like, then they're going to be like, oh, why didn't you fucking declare that you're here for work, mate? Blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't want to fucking do that. So I'm just, like, visiting my boys, right? Which isn't fake. That's real, yeah. right? That's, like, valid. And so I always say streamer or Twitch streamer because, like, I don't want them to fucking look at my channel. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And ain't nobody's going on Twitch. If they're over the age of, like, 40, they have no fucking clue what it is. So he just starts going, oh, you're streaming, mate? Like, you fucking... Uh, my my child loves uh, streamers. Like, what, what do you play? Like, what do you do? And I, immediately, I'm like, definitely, I'm not gonna tell anyone that I'm doing politics, of course. So I'm like, I play video games, uh, like Final Fantasy VII RPG games, single player RPG games. That's what I play. So I try to find like the most boring thing that I, from his perspective. And he's like, oh, so you don't play FIFA? Like, I was like, no, I don't play FIFA. Okay, um, or 2K. Puts me to the fucking X-ray machine. Literally is like looking at my name, looking at me, looking at my name, looking at me, and he's like, So where are you from? And I was like, America, like Los Angeles. But he's like, But your name is Hassan. <laughs> it's like, So, really so where are you, like, you know, where, where are you actually from? And I was like, uh, I'm from Turkey. Like, my parents are from Turkey, but like, I'm from America. So anyway, he just like gave me, he was, he was pretty kind. He wasn't like really annoying. He did ask me about the TikTok ban. Cause like, that's a big deal out here. Apparently he's like, so are they, they going to they ban TikTok mate? And I was like, no. And then I explained to him that it was just like, you know, Congress bullying bite dance to like divest from TikTok and like sell it to an American. And I was trying to tell him, like, it's probably not going to happen anyway because it's very unpopular. And I was immediately thinking, like, how do I get this guy to be on board with, like, not banning TikTok in America? Because <laughs> I know he hates the Chinese, right? Immediately. Well, it's because they keep bringing in all the, all the meat. Yeah. They, they, <laughs> yeah. He that's why. Some, that's a whole, like, turkey in a bag. Guy, yeah. guy, who loves, guy who loves Chinese as a Customs and Border Patrol agent because he's always eating their yeah. meat. Yeah. <laughs> that's the... You that's the, their yeah. I've got a snake today. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, they, yeah, they keep bringing these exotic meat I fucking love it my I like it um so uh I was like yeah it's actually unfair because they just like Americans were like jealous that there was like a successful company and they wanted to like sell it to an American I'm having this like long ass convoluted conversation with him anyway he lets me go at the end of it um and then my manager had like hired a like a, a driver very fancy uh, to, to come here, which is normally like I would just Uber. Uh, I don't even know. Do you guys have Uber? You have Uber. Yeah, we have Uber. Uber. Okay. So, yeah, you did a video on it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I get in the fucking car and then all hell broke loose. 
the dude driving me immediately is like, so where are you from? I'm like, I'm from Los Angeles. He goes, no, mate, where are you really from? <laughs> I saw your name. It's Hassan. <laughs> and I was like, this is two for two. What the <laughs> fuck is going on in Australia? No, no, that's, that's everyone. <laughs> this is like insane. In America, like no one fucking, I feel like Americans like don't do that. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. So the guy's like, I'm Lebanese. So he's like, he, he's like, uh, oh yeah, you're, we're fellow travelers. Turns out he is the most right-wing motherfucker I have encountered thus far in Australia. More right-wing than the Customs and Border Patrol agent. I'll be pointing at me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah more yeah. right-wing right than uh, more right-wing than this guy, and you barely can be be that reactionary. He starts talking about like uh, the libs of fucking they're doing the gangs. They they're running the criminal syndicates out here. Fucking the Turks are all over the fucking cr criminal syndicates. Like he just starts talking to me, and he does not stop talking about politics. Even though I'm desperately trying to steer the conversation away from politics to be like, so yeah, you know, cool, okay, uh, you know, how's life? And he's like, yeah, fucking, <laughs> the, 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 uh, the, the gangs used to be Italian, but now they're all run by the Lebanese because these immigrants are like, uh, they, these immigrants are like, they just, they come from war-torn parts of the world. And I'm like, bro, you're a Lebanese guy. What the fuck are you saying? He's a gang member. In my mind, I was thinking like, what is this guy saying to me? Um, and, and, and it was, it was really interesting because then he starts talking about American politics and he's like, you know, it can fucking save America. Trump. Like talking about how like you need a businessman to save the country Joe Biden ruined the country in four years, mate. Fucking hell. All this shit. And I was thinking, like, what is he... Like, I did not want to ask him any questions. Because I did not want to know what he it means when he says, like, Joe Biden ruined the country. But it was very strange that he was just, like, so invested in telling me about American politics. And he had no fucking clue that I do politics. Like, I did not tell him that at all. I did not want him to look me up at all. I was just like, yeah, I play video games for a living. And slowly but surely, he like drew it out of me that I, not the politics stuff, but like, you know, what I do. And he's like, well, you're an immigrant in America and you're successful. And that's what we got to do out here. Like we have to do honest work and be successful. And in my mind, I'm thinking like, damn, bro, the, the Lebanese seemingly are very successful if they overtook the entire criminal enterprise out here. Like, <laughs> why are you hating on the motherfuckers out here? Like they're doing the damn thing. Um, but yeah, you know, fun stuff overall. Uh, came over here. Uh, set up, uh, set up the stream. Shouts out to Alex and Alexa. You guys are fucking great. That's awesome. Um, yeah, uh, I, I nice. brought them. I brought them some, some Sick treats, gifts. some some gifts. Uh, I don't know if you want to. Oh fuck! I brought them some gifts. <laughs> First of all, I brought them a shit ton of zin. Uh, to shit ton of zin. Yeah, you can show that. You Which you didn't declare. Which I did not declare. It's not a tobacco <laughs> product. I brought them this turkey hat. Some kind of American merchandise. Yeah, he already, <laughs> turns out he already has a turkey hat. He already has a better looking one as well. Yeah, he has a better turkey hat that has like the actual OG name of turkey, Turkey. <laughs> it's okay, some of us are more Turkish than you, so it's fine. Yeah. Where's the cock hat? That's a good hat. Um, I brought him the Alabama Gamecocks hat. That's sick. And the hog life hat. And Let's also... See. They're all bright. Yeah. I'm gonna wear these everywhere. Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to show them, what, like you know. Well, when we go to Bondi about. Sauna in our speedos, wear, wear the, the cock hat. Yeah, yeah. It also brought us these. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then I brought them uh, two, two incredible, uh, very real, authentic Los Angeles uh, uh, gifts <laughs> for for opening up their home to me. Uh, and being such gracious hosts. Have you told them where you're sleeping that you're literally sleeping in Alexa? I am bed? literally. Alexa is not sleeping in his own room because they don't have <laughs> enough space in his in his tiny ass house. Don't so cancel him. His house is tiny. I'm sleeping in Alex's room, and you know we. The last thing we want is to sleep together in the same yeah, bed. But like Hassan's coming out, we have to. We have to. You know, we just have I to. I did do tell it. them it's you don't have to do that. No. And and Alexa insisted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He. Yeah. He insisted. I thought it was a little weird, but it's fine, I guess. I hate doing gay stuff. I'm just a really good host. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. just not gay. Yeah. They're they're just, you know, you have to sleep uh not ass to ass, like ass to penis. Too, oh, yeah, yeah. Which is like We just do front to front, like yeah. we sleep before head to foot. 
I'm you're not just... going near your feet. No, that's so fucked. Oh yeah, your feet are fucking gnarly. I'd much rather go acidic than <laughs> face, face to foot. Face to <laughs> yeah. For two different reasons. Yeah. Yeah, it seems. Okay. I'd much rather. Anyway, um, but yeah, so originally today we were supposed to go to a Rift Hall Zoo, okay? Uh, and do a private tour of the facility and like get to pet all the animals and stuff, except for the koalas because they have STDs apparently. Um, is that if a meme got, or is that real? No, it's no, real. real. You can pet them. But if you've you got the same them. one as them, if you have chlamydia, oh, okay. then like, what do you mean? It actually cancels, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. It fixes your chlamydia. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's one thing that, uh, that's one thing that we're going to do today. Turns out it's actually tomorrow. So, uh, we're not doing that today. We're going to be doing that tomorrow. So, what I'm, what my plan is here, guys, I'm just going to do my regular stream, like a desktop stream every day while I'm out here. A lot earlier in the day than right now. Don't worry. Um, hopefully at like 6 a.m. I'll start, which is 12 Los Angeles time. Uh, and then do like a couple hours, three to four hours of like regular content, regular desktop stream shit. And then we'll move on to IRL stuff. So today they have a very special treat for us. Um, one of the things that they want to do is uh, they want to go uh, snorkeling. I, I keep saying snorkel because that's how you say it in Turkish. Snorkel. 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 Um, <laughs> they want to go snorkeling. You explain to them what you told me. Wait, wait, which bit? Bit, bit about the... The, 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 the safe beach. The so, safe beach. Well, because I, I understand Hassan is um, reluctant to get in the water. And I thought he would like it if I told him there's these big friendly fish called blue gropers, which they kind of behave a little bit like puppy dogs. They've got big eyes, big lips. And they will, they will come up to you and kind of almost want to pat they think you have food and they're beautiful like beautiful animals they're not it's they're creepy beautiful. as fuck it's creepy as fuck they're that there's like fish that are not afraid of you and want like they literally seem pets. like they want hugs because they think you're giving them food sometimes i've had it if you lift up a rock they know there's food underneath it but they'll get excited by that and they'll literally come over and just start bumping you they'll be like what's that under the rock? freaks me the what's fuck out the rock? that freaks me the fuck out the other part about it was that he was like no 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 you don't understand there's another beach that's like really beautiful Oh, right? It's, yeah, it's called Cabbage Tree Bay. Yeah. But the problem is, it's like, you like you do see sharks there he go, he, go, he went, when he was describing it to me, <laughs> he went, and I quote, well, there's stuff that you might not want to see there. And I was like, what, is he, what does he mean? Like, are there dicks and, and, and pussies? Like, are people naked? Like, is there just like human fecal matter? He goes, sharks. Like, you might not want to see sharks. I'm like, no, I, that's just the weirdest way to present that. <laughs> Like, it's not just about me being like, oh, a shark. Now my day is ruined because I saw it. It's more like, oh, my God, we're going to fucking die. No, that's, uh, that's, I've been in the water before. And, like, when you see a shark, I'm just like, oh, I just, I hope they don't see it. I'm like, I'll just kind of shield them from it so they don't know that there's a shark around. That's like, insane. They will just be there, you know. So you no, know, it's you, not, not, I'm not definitely not going in the fucking water at all, dog. There now. are some places where there's like a human-made rock wall. There's no sharks in there. There's kids swimming in there. Australian kids. They probably fucking... They like the sharks. They, <laughs> no, they it's fine. I just... I feel like they're going to see my Turkish tender meat and think like this is a delicacy. Like they don't, we don't, we don't get this like beautiful Los Angeles fermented meat here. Uh, and and they're gonna avenge us for Gallipoli. Yeah, oh, the oh, yes. Yeah, and Zach forces the steam, took a big L. The took a big L. Rays will get, yeah. yeah. So uh, things that I've learned so far since I've been in Australia: the Lebanese, the libs, right? The libos, the lib, the, the Lebanese. I don't know how. What Lebanese. is it? Lebs. <laughs> the Lebs. The Lebs and the Turks have taken over the fucking bikey gangs, right? And the gangs across the board, they, they got criminal syndicates, right? Um, and also, the biggest criminal syndicate of all, obviously, uh, Chairman Xi, uh, China. So... That's right. So, uh, today we're going to investigate that, I think, because, like... Because I, I want to see what the fuck this is about. Like apparently, it's Australia is Chinese uh, is a Chinese vassal state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which means you know a number of things like phenomenal food, mm -hmm. right? So we'll we'll. That's how they get you. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you, we'll eat it, but we'll go like this while Yum. eating it. Mmm, <laughs> mm, really bad. Then when we go to the Xinjiang restaurant. 
yeah. Oh yeah, we can we can do that as well. We can we can do that as well, and then we'll go. Hmm. Also in Chinatown, suspicious. Yeah, that is suspicious. Maybe they want to keep an eye on them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. true, true. They're surveilling the Xinjiang restaurant, yeah. the Uyghur restaurant in China in Chinatown. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do that. Uh, they have an interview that they're doing. We can mention that, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they have a they have an interview that they're doing uh, uh, about. The, the latest video that they did that we watched on stream, if you guys remember, the Pine Gap one, uh, about how this is an American military base. <laughs> <laughs> Just like an unsinkable aircraft carrier in the middle of the <laughs> ocean. That's even um, worse. The Chinese are taking over an American base. I know. It's, That's yeah. why it's like so damaging. <laughs> yeah. It's not even that, you know, it's not even that this is becoming a Chinese vassal state and there's like Mandarin uh, everywhere. It's that it's, uh, it's America's base originally. So, did they get their soccer ball back? No. 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 That's kind of funny. Someone um, put a marker for it on Google Maps. Oh, people really? Leaving, people leaving reviews about, <laughs> like, boy boy soccer ball. But um, they got taken down. I'm on my the 11th CIA cold brew so far, I think. I ordered, like, eight cold brews here. And I've just been downing them nonstop. Even though I slept the entire time. The time difference is so fucked here. It's, like, so weird. Because... Technically, it's like an entire day ahead. It's 18 hours ahead, I think, right? Yeah. But I mean, like, the more hours, the kind of less it is, right? Yeah. So it's yeah. like, like 24 is 5, so. it's like 10 30. Yeah, yeah so but like, I, I, I've like lost an entire day, yeah. though, yeah. while I was. You gain it when here. you go back, though. Yeah. So it's, it's very weird. You need, you've been in Japan two times? I know, I know. But it's just, it still fucks me up. Maybe it fucks me up further because this is, I realize, my first time in the Southern Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah this is the global south, yeah. baby. That's <laughs> right. Bricks. Does the sun feel different to you here? No, you haven't been really. outside yet. We find that really. it's what it's way more way more burning here. Oh, like I you just feel so it on your yeah. skin. Like that's compared to LA. I it's that yeah. hole in the ozone that we got here. Someone said, "Are you in Sydney already?" Yes, dude. I yesterday when you watched me live, I was in Los Angeles. Today, when you're watching me live, I'm in fucking Sydney. Even though I technically skipped the day, you guys. In LA, have not. So you're watching me in, in Australia right now. I'm a fucking globetrotter, baby. Um, and uh, we're also going to have uh, we're going to have one special guest come in now because he has like a, a unique you're thing that he that he wanted to fucking show me. <laughs> and at first, I was like, the fuck's this guy? What, what's this guy's deal? Okay, you might also you were in the Pinegap video as yeah. well. A lot. <laughs> All right, introduce yourself to the stream. Uh, my name is Christo, and uh, I was in the Pine Gap video. I want to zoom out of that. Work yeah. with uh, move it Jordan, and I'm uh, childhood friends with oh. Ale Alex's brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex's brother is the base one, by the way, that we've established already. He's way sicker. He's way cooler. <laughs> hotter. Act hotter. Works yeah. with fucking unions. Like, he's the man. Um, I'm always trying to get him into politics. I want him to like be PM one day. Lucas, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. The, no, it, no it's, the focus is fine. It'd be no, like no, our JFK. It, it, it looks dark because this uh, this screen is dark. That's oh, it. Yeah. Here, like, it normally, it just looks like this, yeah, actually. But does Lucas make explosives? No, so. <laughs> That's <laughs> he, true. He'd be in control. I have something it. useful about me. Can I just give you, like, the Minister for Defence or something? Oh, yeah. 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 I like that. Yeah, it is weird how nepotistic Australian YouTube is. Everyone, <laughs> everyone famous is just, like, a friend of each other. Yeah, it's fucked up. That is weird. That's how it is in American YouTube too, though. All right, so you have a uh, you were very excited to show me something, <laughs> and I was a little shocked. But I guess it's like on par with what he does all the fucking no, time. This is this, this is, is much worse. This is much worse. But this is much much worse. So yeah. what do you you have you we have a show and tell for you guys. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't. I probably shouldn't laugh, but it is it is. Yeah, and tell tell the backstory nuts. of what it. Yeah, actually, I probably if I started. It's a sip, pretty devastating backstory but um in 2021 uh just very 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 close to australia just a few like a really like you know you can basically catch a boat there in uh, on the island of new guinea in the center of it there was a uh, bit of action between uh the rebel the very sparsely armed uh indigenous rebel army uh the tpnpb the west papua national liberation army and the indonesian government and uh the indonesian government reacted to i guess a few scattered arson attacks by sending in uh, massive helicopters with uh, rockets made by a European company, Talus, 
they used, I, I'm pretty certain they used these Chinese uh, AI drones called Blow, Blowfish A3s that use AI to attack in clusters. And they dropped uh, Serbian, modified right. Serbian mortars. Yeah, so I told you we were going to leave that he's got, He's got this. He's just, oh, what's up? You got some for Turkey too? What, what did the Turkish do? do? No, it's just we've got, we got, we got, so we got, got a weird alliance. Like he hit everyone, dude. We got it's the fucking... French, <laughs> the yeah. Belgians. The... the Indonesian government reacted in the only way that they react anytime something happens, it seems, uh, which is uh, full scale warfare assault. And it's, and it's been pretty much secret. Like, still, the details of this attack have not... Like, I did a video on Jordan's channel last year. True Geordies. It, through Friendly Geordies. Or, for, not True Geordies. That's a different YouTuber. Oh, that's <laughs> the English guy. Yeah, that's the... Uh, <laughs> is he, like, a Geordie Shaw type? Yeah, that would be really <laughs> funny if he was, like, out of... Out of nowhere, he's like, today we're going to be... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Let me talk to you about Sakana. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he, he swaps it from like men's right activism or whatever the fuck he does to like talking about uh, Indonesia conducting genocidal operations in Papua New Guinea. The West Papua is actually the most masculine They're pretty, uh, men that we have in, in Oh, they'd the world. be... The, the Andrew Tates would fucking lie. Oh, no, they wouldn't survive there. They wouldn't... They don't have any cars or Bugatti. Bugatti yeah, there's Bugatti's. no Bugatti. There's no, no Bugatti's, Bugatti's there. <laughs> Um, no slippers and, and skin tight jeans that he could wear as well to look as masculine as you physically can in Europe. That's just how it works. <laughs> the skinnier your pants are, the more mask you are. Um, just but yeah, not true Jordy's, friendly Jordy. So you, you were talking about that. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it looked like um, that, yeah, everyone evacuated because of this massive bombing campaign. They say, the people there say that there was 200 mortars dropped and I don't know how many um, Talus rockets um, but everyone fled into the bushes and they've been living there since and the whole kind of airstrip which is I guess the de facto kind of administrative centre of the Kiwi Rock region that's on the border of Indonesia and uh, PNG is isolated and it just has Indonesian snipers guarding it and when the indigenous Papuans try and go back to go to their gardens because they're subsistence farmers they get shot at by snipers um, so there's a starvation crisis going on there and um, I think around I would say probably around 300 people from like various sources that have like independently written down names. They've died, and no one's been there. The PNG government haven't been there. The Indonesian or well, the Indonesian military's been there. Um, a few church groups have been there. They've investigated themselves, IDF style, and found <laughs> and found no wrongdoing was, was happening. And that they have uh, terror babies. <laughs> I like that. Like AI drones is the future of warfare. That's uh, so sick. That because IDF has uh, what is known as the gospel. According to 972 Mag, they have a, a AI targeting structure for uh, for Gaza as well uh, that they utilize on on like figuring out which are uh, children. Uh, yeah, like, who's the child? Wh there? Yeah, which 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 uh, Palestinian child deserves it the most today? <laughs> Turns out all of them. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, really I just keep count. Yeah, really <laughs> bad vibes across the board for Palestinian children. So like Israel's just like doing that. So very cool that they got. Very cool that that's what's going on. Um, but yeah, go on. So you, you, the the funny, I guess, a part of this not so funny story, is that um, he was very excited to <laughs> to bring this material that he personally collected from the ground. Um, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah. You can do a reveal here. I'm just a bit. I'm evangelical about this cause because it's just there's n practically no media attention on it, and none of these these are like big Western companies that we were meant to buy. We were meant to buy these big uh, our big submarines from them until we uh, started. Oh, the camera over here. Yeah. it is. So this is a wing. Where's the camera? This is the wing of a Talus FZ-68 rocket, which is a French multinational company, one of the biggest weapons manufacturers in the world, and it's being used on civilian populations just a few hours north of Australia. Yeah. That's crazy. Dude. So I don't want to. I don't know if I want to touch it because you said. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you. He literally so casually brought this in Ziploc bags and was like, "Oh, they might be poisoned." I've got a. I got a. I got a new theory that I'm working on in it's a video. But I'm uranium. <laughs> no, I don't think depleted, depleted uranium. But a lot of the um, not not on the Talus rocket, but in other areas of the country and in Duga, but also here, they've been using um, high explosive incendiaries, which, you know, use, sometimes use white phosphorus, but I think they may, might be using smokeless powder. But a lot of the witnesses I spoke to said that people started dropping dead after eating from their subsistence farms a few weeks after the attack. So I need to 
that, that, that's a spoiler for the new exciting video I'm working on. But, what's uh, do you know how much these cost? Because what's interesting, like this is aluminium, but it's yeah. some weird special high grade aluminium where it doesn't bend like aluminium or do anything like That's why when I was touching it before, I was like, this is like some weird fucking yeah. metal I've never touched before. It, it breaks into like effective shards like this, like on purpose to be ah. really scrappy and just cut, cut you up. But yeah, and the funny thing about the AI that I, is, that's nuts is that the West Papuan army, the guerrillas, most of them still use bows and arrows to fight against the Indonesian military. And the Indonesian military has progressed to using these drones that carry mortars that attack in like a robot swarm against like uh, probably the, one of the most like uh, le worst equipped militaries on earth, but a very skilled, I guess, military. So yeah, you were saying before, it's literally it's like, it's like Avatar. Yeah, yeah it's a yeah. really, it's, like Avatar. it's a really poor taste comparison, but like, <laughs> it's a really, really poor taste comparison, but like, it's, it's really sad because it's one of the most, uh, this is like one of the last like holdouts of like pre-industrial kind of ways of living mm. and like the best people on earth and they're being, they're fighting for, they're fighting for their culture and their life and just their lives and not, not dying and their land using bows and arrows against one of the most vicious, uh, well-equipped and just like ruthless militaries and it's happening a tiny bit north of Australia yeah. and there it's is close no to, press it's on It's closer it. than Bali, isn't it? Yeah, way yeah, closer. Where Australians yeah. go for holiday. Yeah, yeah. It's um, right. Can I say this in the title? Can I put? Uh, can I add uh, friendly Georgians in the title, or will you get mad? No, no, no yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, okay. Of course. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm tweeting out. By the way, we're blasting off before I forget. Chat, and you can uh, you know go go interact with it. Let the people know that we're live and alive. I don't have a. Oh, you have a blast off meme. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hassan. Oh my God, is that from basketball? That's from basketball, yeah. Hassan was asking me earlier, he's like, oh, how short do my shorts actually have to yeah. be if yeah. I look like a hot tradie? We're going to get you some shorts. You get some tradie shorts. We're going to yeah. We will go tradie shopping eventually, 100%. Oh, this place is really close yeah, there. really good. Okay. Uh, we, we have to. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Um, that's a that's a good meme for it. Even though it's not. So my hands are itchy. Oh, for, uh, wait, really? No, yeah. I don't. It, this one, no. Let I've, me go wash my hands. I'm. I'm uh, Jesus I've Christ! This one. How do your hands get itchy? Your hands are fucking <laughs> so thick. No, this this one's not going to yeah, have anything. Yeah, yeah. On. And it's 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 just a, it's like a very 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 loose theory at the moment. So don't don't take um. There's still a lot of work to do on it. And that's also this. It wouldn't have been delivered in the Talus rocket. That this one kills you by cutting you up and with shrapnel. It doesn't poison you. I don't think. Sorry. It's more fun. Yeah, it's more fun. If you can, yeah. you can pull up a picture if you want. Want to see what they look like? Hold on, I'll do that. What is it called? Uh, how, how do you spell it? T H A L E S. And then space F Z six eight. Z. <laughs> oh my god. Go, you got images. Marcus Brownlee Marcus Brownlee looks at uh the latest and greatest in drone warfare. <laughs> also, is it that one that it's, the it's, fins? Yeah, that's it. That that's one? the fin, yeah. Um no, that's in an, I think that's in Induga, which is just no one can get into there because it is the most it is the last place on earth that's just completely isolated. It's it's the, got the tallest peak in Oceania there called um the, Cart the Cartens Pyramid. So it's this equatorial glacier and this like weird mountainous region where there's guerrilla fighting going on that no one ever, no one can see. It's I don't understand. Insane. Why do they got so much smoke for like random indigenous people? <laughs> like, what's <laughs> the Because <fuck? laughs> like, the island is the richest island on earth. It's got the oh, largest coal. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So, so originally it was part of the Dutch East Indies and then there was a bit of a spat between the Indonesians who wanted to inherit all of the Dutch East Indies, but the Dutch were like, no, no, this is kind of, this is Papuan, this is Melanesian, the Indonesians shouldn't have oh. it. Were they, were they being, the Dutch were being woke? The Dutch were actually they were being woke. Than, they were <laughs> a lot better than the Indonesians, but still, you know. They were, they were like, no, you know what, we're just gonna... Just go back to colonialism. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's they were being white saviors. No, that's, my, were... <laughs> that's my takeaway. No, but the, the Dutch, the Dutch 
were were fighting Indonesia over and the US was originally kind of backing in the Dutch, but then they were worried, the US got worried that Sukarno was getting too close with the communists. And so they, a uh, bunch of, uh, I was gonna say RFK, sorry, <laughs> JF, JFK security advisors said, we need to have a strategic shift and let Indonesia take over West okay. Papua. And a lot of those advisors went on to work at the massive mine, uh, Freeport mine, which became the largest gold and copper mine in the world. Whereas where it's a massive hub for all well, it's because like food. they're the most knowledgeable. The, the I think <laughs> that's why they they were the most woke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they said. Well, it was actually it was a woke movement that gave um, that robbed uh, West Papua and West Papuans of their independence. It was a woke movement that said, "Oh, we you know we've taken so much from the Indonesians. We have to give them everything that we had," oh, yeah. and it completely disregarded any of the uh, the will of the actual the indigenous Melanesians on the island. And it was actually the Dutch left that kind of, uh, and the Australian left that kind of uh, failed in, in, in delivering like, oh, facilitating an Indonesian genocide really. And they no, did the same in Timor. Most states can't be racist, yeah. is, the, <laughs> is the takeaway. Sahato yeah. was a uh, hero. <laughs> yeah, he was, he, dude, he was I mean, just- I do like him, Sukarno. Oh, Sukarno, That too, yeah. that too. Sukarno was kind of cool. He, he had so much sex. I think, <laughs> that's I, why I, you like him. I think they were like it was like he was like culturally fucking polyamorous. Well, do you know the story about the CIA <laughs> trying to make yeah. they tried to make fake pornography of Sukarno to like discredit him? To just yeah, discredit it. They got like an actor somewhere in Hollywood. Did they? It. Was it was the pipe game solid? Like in the fake porn? <laughs> yeah, because then it like backfired. So, so what ended up happening is he ended up distributing it in Indonesia he, because he's <laughs> like it makes me look sick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ladies, if you see this, it's real. Yeah, he he yeah he got he got a lot of play out of that. Um, where's the kangaroos at, homie? Well, we're gonna be doing that tomorrow. Unfortunately, uh, we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna do that tomorrow. They're linking your video in the chat. The oh sick. Oh yeah, this is no, that's, hostage that, oh, that's, land. That's my channel. That's about um. They still got them. They took a uh, the uh, Nduga wing of the West Papuan Army took a um, took a oh. Kiwi pilot hostage. Uh, last year, and he's been held there for a year in the jungle, just evading the Indonesian military who have been bombing the area. And so I went to hang out with their, I guess, de facto spokesman, who's West Papua and kind of lives just in the border well, area. As far as I understand, the greatest way to ensure that you can, uh, you know, retrieve a hostage is by blowing up like <laughs> yeah. densely populated areas. Uh, maybe it's because they're not densely populated that they're having a hard time retrieving the hostage. Because that's what Israel taught me, like that <laughs> you're supposed to blow up. Areas where like civilians live. There, there's so many parallels with um, Israel and Palestine. Like um, one of the, the the actual fathers of the current hostage takers, they took a bunch of World Wildlife Fund uh, volunteers hostage in the 90s, oh, and uh, so it was protracted. It was a protracted ordeal, and they had the Red, the Red Cross was brought in to negotiate, um, and eventually the Indonesians kind of got the shits, and the Red Cross colluded with the Indonesians to bring in. Uh, British special forces and Capacitors, Indonesian special forces, under the guise of the Red Cross. So they flew in on a Red Cross helicopter and just massacred a village. So to, shocking to bring in to bring to get the hostages. Then they just back. like fuck like any NGO that wants to work there ever. Oh, it's, yeah, because they're yeah. like, oh no, well, it's the, British soldiers. The reason why they're taking hostages now, and I've got this will be another thing that I've got a bunch of footage of. The Indonesian army just uses civilian aircrafts to fly in everything because they don't have the they don't have good enough pilots. So they rely on missionary aircrafts to carry out like brimob raids. Well, the Christians are colluding in ethnic cleansing. Um, what the yeah, fuck? So <laughs> weird. Whoa. Well, I'm not sure. Sorry, I won't. I actually should. I'm not sure if it's missionary, but it's commercial for sure. And oh. they've used the red. Cro they used the red cross in the '90s to to do a massacre. So it's yeah. just it's kind of similar. To Shocking. That. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, you know, here's another very here's another much more real invasion. Um. The Chinese invasion of Australia. <laughs> to, to talk about some serious subjects for yeah, once yeah, yeah. and not like, um, you know. Not this avatar stuff. Yeah, not this <laughs> indigenous population <laughs> being wiped out. Um, as far as I understand, much hay has been made about the, oh, there it is. Much hay has been made about the, the uh, Australian island becoming a Chinese vassal state, a colony. And uh, today we're going we're gonna to be investigating that a little bit by going to... Guys, trigger warning, Chinatown.
That's right. Um, they, they, they have a town. town. Inside Sydney. Yeah, they crazy. built a town inside of Sydney, <laughs> and they had the audacity to openly call it Chinatown, <laughs> where a lot of the Chinese live, which is shocking. Um, and they're even, you know, selling their food, their wares, yep. and, and, and their culture. The street names yeah. have Chinese writing on them. Oh, God. Mandarin. It's still like Victoria Road. It's still, it's still English monarch. Yeah, but and there's statues of the Queen everywhere, but... but yeah. in Mandarin sometimes. Yeah. yeah, how do you guys live with that? That's so weird it's, to me. Like, that's like the one in a sea of, like, awfulness that, that America represents. Like, that is the one good thing that they did. Let's get rid of the British. It was like yeah. 1776. Like we're not cucked by the by the Commonwealth. We're just we're double cucked. I, I feel like we're just so apathetic, right? That's like the defining trait of like Australian culture. Do you guys get like excited about like Kate Middleton stuff, People like conspiracies? Like you guys like the royals and shit here? Yeah, I think one of the biggest events, like in the last five years, was when they came to Australia. Yeah, it was it, every it was nonstop coverage. About them arriving. Was that Kate all and Will? All you could see on the news. Yeah. I have clips I uploaded onto Twitter in honor of your. Oh, we can look at some of the some of my. Uh, yeah, what the fuck did you do? You put a Vegemite on a Tim Tam. Um. Yeah, I was I was broaching into Australian culture. I was learning. This was a learning experience for me. Where I guess I put. I don't even remember this. I guess I put Vegemite on a Tim Tam. Tim Tam. That's the real Tim Tam slam. <laughs> okay, what the fuck's going on? Internet's not working down here. Down on the. Oh no. No, no, Very it's good. Fine. Enjoy something here. Has your Australian accent gotten better since? I don't know. First, uh, Gonna improve the taste of this fucking Tim Tim. <laughs> The one in the tube. The dash of Vegemite on it. It's just the dash. Same. It's the same. It's, exactly it's the same. bad, I know. <laughs> It'll get better. Will it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's good. It's Very actually fucking really good. good. Like, yeah. It's, it's better think, than our American I think matches. it's actually like one of the oh best. Oh my god. One of the best I've heard. That's really. crazy. Wait, really? Yeah. You get like, you got the heaps. You always say the heat. Yes. Yeah. And I didn't realize, like, we always say it. We always yeah, we say always say heaps. Heaps. Yeah, we're going to. I say heaps. Later, later, we're gonna go on a walkabout. That's a well, we don't say that. <laughs> you don't say walkabout. Well, I think it's like an indigenous term. You would do that if if you wanted to. Like people would say that if you're making fun of indigenous people here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, so I, that's what like conservatives I thought, say. To be fair, I thought the Australians were indigenous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. For me, they are indigenous in the Chinese invasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah technically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know that. That's crazy. I thought that was like a like an Aussie thing. Like. Uh, Walkabout is like uh, just when you go out into the nature. Is what I, what is it? What is it actually? I think it's like a coming of age thing. Yeah. Um, the indigenous people do, but yeah, the only time I hear it now is like Pauline Hanson or something, someone like that mm. making fun of Who indigenous is, people. Is Pauline Hanson a racist? Well, Pauline, Hanson, one. Pauline Hanson said uh, that we're all white. White Australians are indigenous because we were born here, weren't we? You, you love Pauline Hanson. She's the one who you shared her tweet, which was like, um, "I'm still alive." Um, in spite of what my enemies want or something. She did, one like, did she do a hair. video from pri she did, did she do a video from prison? Like she oh no, she made a video. She went to prison? She, yeah, she you went to her. prison. She's like, the one that climbed Uluru and then to say that we should still be able to climb it and then she got halfway up and started crying. Oh, and like, I remember that. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys showed me a video yeah. of her. She wore a burqa to parliament. Yes, that's that's Oh, her. she's so based. Yeah. Yeah. She's so sick. <laughs> Yeah, I um I saw a customs and border patrol agent wearing a wearing a hijab, and immediately I was like, "This is scary. What's going on here? <laughs> a secret agent. What's happening? Don't, don't worry, it was Pauline Hanson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was keeping us suspiciously. Safe. Yeah, she was. She was Just ginger. To blend in and, yeah. yeah. Oh, H Bomber guys in the chat. What's he saying? All my enemies in one room. Nice. <laughs> I was <the> <laughs> uh, Damn, fuck. you guys are so fucked. He's coming after your channel. No, we got good luck. Yeah, yeah. Pine Cap wants to do a drone strike. We're all here. Now, so. He's doing H, H Bomber guy is gonna do an eight hour video about how you guys uh, fucked up on the Pine Gap investigation. You're cooked. <laughs> he's he's coming after you next. First he canceled. We, we plagiarized Pine Gap. Technically, it was yeah. a supply issue. Yeah. First, first he came after uh, famous gay content creators. Now he's coming after Australians, which is even gayer than being gay. 
Australia is very gay in many ways. I've talked about this so many times. I feel like it's a meme at this point, but like when you guys first told me about the tradies, I was like, this is the gayest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Why are they seemingly like the like tough scary, guy. tough guys who are like very uh, homophobic? Yeah. And, and it's the same thing. It's like bi keys. Like you, ca I can't take that seriously. I, I really want you to see what Bondi looks like, especially Bondi icebergs, because it's compulsory to be kind of fit and wear speedos. And then it's just everyone's naked in the change rooms the whole time. Everyone's in, in speedos and it's somehow gay, but it's not gay. I just don't... I mean, it's part of it's probably gay. Probably. It's very gay, <laughs> I yeah. just, I personally don't understand how you can like, like shorten a word and make it so cute and then expect people to be like, oh, those are the scary guys. <laughs> the bikies like, are coming. Yeah, the bikies. Like, it, this doesn't make any sense. They ride bicycles. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm thinking like, it's, it's a gang of people who are very fit, <laughs> where, where like, like athleisure, like really skin tight <laughs> athletic wear, and they ride. They're cyclists. We have those as well. They're pretty. They're called scary. Mam mammals. Middle aged men in lycra. Yeah. Oh, oh my. Do you God. have them in LA? We have them in the morning. You just there, have gangs. Is there anywhere? Is there anywhere to ride bikes in LA? I feel like <laughs> Without dying? Yeah. No. Um, not really. LA is uh, LA is the most car cucked uh, area of all time. So we don't really. Oh, I mean, there's Texas, people. It was pretty car heavy as well. I feel like just most, yeah. most places. Most places in America, <laughs> most places in America are very, very. Yeah, unless you mean like people who bike in their pelotons in their house, and in which case that's <laughs> it. Yeah. That's why it picked off. I was wondering why. Yeah, because Americans so. can't ride bicycles. Can't leave their yeah. <laughs> but yeah, here is me trying to Vegemite with <laughs> Tim Tim. Jesus, <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> There's another Australian war crime right there then. <laughs> well, you seem to like it. Uh, I did, yeah. I, I like what? Vegemite. Actually, fuck it. I'm gonna try it. I said it would like to turn into fucking olive. Oh, no. Olive That's horrible. You're a monster. That just looks like a poo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bit salty. <laughs> oh! <laughs> It was a bit salty. It's so salty! <laughs> it's actually not that bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not that oh, bad. It. No, it's, it is nice. Um, uh, okay, that's that's what we got for Australian culture. What else should we be doing out here? Oh, shit. What else should we be doing out here? Because, like, I came out here with, like, very little plans. I have, like, a lot of... Um, I have a lot of podcasts lined up. Uh, we're going to be we're gonna be shooting one uh, tomorrow as well but as far as like IRL streams goes I hit up I hit up uh Mike Malak hey big Mike's uh like fixer out here so we could do all the stuff that like him and Logan Paul have done in Australia basically uh because I have no creative ideas of my own with the exception of going to Chinatown which was kind of what you guys suggested <laughs> and then I said oh it's because China is invading Australia well I think beach stuff it's fun. Yeah, that's kind of a part of Australian culture. Unique animals. Nature's kind of the biggest thing we got. To we're do. Yeah. Gonna be, yeah, we're doing like that that's tomorrow. The difference between Sydney and Melbourne is Sydney is more kind of nature heavy, prettier, and then Melbourne's probably more ugly, ugly yeah, and shit. <laughs> yeah, it's, they, that's they the say difference. they got stuff. They just make. They, have, they have culture, but I know we've got food that. here. That's it. Everyone in Melbourne always talks about coffees as yeah. a thing, and it's like it's the same, you know. But like, do. Sydney, I thought, was like the bigger city, isn't it? No, no, no Melbourne's be bigger. Melbourne's becoming bigger, yeah. It's like okay. five million each. They're like yeah, pretty, pretty much the same. Long. Melbourne doesn't have as many Chinese people, though. Yeah. That's what we, Sydney has on the Oh, that's what, okay, that's why we like Melbourne. It's not been overtaken by the Chinese. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Pine Gap Viral Stream. Okay, you guys have one note, dude. Like, you only... Everyone has been memeing about Pine, Pine Gap. They right. always... They're like, come on, go to Pine Gap. It's not the only thing in Australia, okay? There's, there's other American military yeah, bases. There's, there's yes, a there's a lot. Yeah. yeah. I think um, there's an American military ship at Garden Island at the moment. Oh, yeah, we can go there. So it's from the Harbour on. Bridge, you can see... You can get a sign Ky there Kyle in case you get in trouble here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm going to go there and salute. <laughs> no, just right we're, this way, sir. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do a salute off. Whoever <laughs> salutes harder. Um, how's Sydney's public transport? 
Oh. Never tried it yet. We should. That's what we should do. Yeah, it's it's pretty fun. There's um, we've got um, like ferries integrated into public transport system. So you get on one, like you're on a bus, and you get like a nice little tour of the city. I like that. We can do that. It's yeah, it's pretty good. It's when not is, as good as Tokyo, but oh shit, when do we need to go? Yeah, it's probably forty five. Yeah, forty five minutes. Okay. And we also have uh, we have uh, friendly Jordy's uh, who will. He's on his way. Who's uh, who? I think is on his way. He's the one who's going to be showing me around while you guys are gone. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know. I've never met the guy, <laughs> and I have no idea how this is going to work. I feel like he's going to leave me stranded in the middle of fucking Sydney, and I'm just going to be by myself for an hour while I wait for them to conduct Hopefully their. He, inter- he doesn't have a fucking. He doesn't have a phone. No. So like <laughs> we can't get in contact with. Oh. <laughs> he's got handlers, not a phone. That's pretty funny though, because like I also don't have Twitter on my phone, so I can't really connect with anyone either. Out here, because like you guys have fake phones, like you have like Chinese phones. I have, I have Asus. Asus, yeah. what we call it. Asus. And I've got an Oppo, so yeah. <laughs> so they literally have like they they don't have like iMessenger, so I can't even like reach out to them. <laughs> so you want WeChat? I do not have any of that. No, we don't. How the fuck are we gonna connect with one another? Like, I, wait, you don't? I have don't internet. have Twitter on my you phone. You don't have internet on your phone. No, you, I don't. WhatsApp. No. Wait, can you make oh. calls? Can we just give you our number? Yeah. Wait, 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 but, but if, if you're with Jordan, his friend's going to be there too. Yeah, Connor. Yeah, so he'll, yeah, like, we can call him. Okay, good. Um, fuck. Until he, yeah, I really didn't, I really didn't do my due diligence before this at all. I was just like, fuck it, YOLO. I, I literally just kind of showed up at their house. It's not even a joke. <laughs> yeah. I, I one day. Oh, 7 a.m. as well. I one day DM'd them and I was like, I'm coming to your house. <laughs> and, and Alice was like, we don't have space for you. And I was like, I didn't even account for that. <laughs> and, then, and then Alexa was like, oh, don't, no worries. Like, we sleep in the same bed and cuddle every night yeah, anyway. We just bunk up. So the majority of the world uses WhatsApp. Yeah, I don't want to fucking get on it, dude. Do you guys not have Discord? Oh, we do have Discord. Yeah, I could just we could just yeah. connect the link up through Discord. So Will was right, you didn't plan them out. No, I mean I planned like like basic plane activities. Tickets. Yeah, plane tickets, basic activities like podcasts and shit like that. Normally, the thing is, a lot of people don't also stream for fucking five to six hours when they travel. Like I have enough to justify flying out here for seven days, but I also want to do more of it, which is why. Uh, everyone always thinks I'm like not planning. Are we gonna go snorkeling after Chinatown? I think so. Yeah. Oh, you want to do snorkeling today? I'm do you want to do the reptile park? Will kind of fuck it up. For what? Well, actually, we should probably get do it after the reptile park tomorrow. I don't know. I'm just trying to think where we can fit it in because it's like we can't do it at night. No, but we could go snorkeling today. We we'll but... bring our swimmers down. Or not? We don't. I mean, whatever you guys think is best. We could also we could also just go to Bondi today. Might be easier. I can't, I can't imagine streaming up there. In Bondi icebergs. Yeah, it's like do, a it, do it in the sun. Bondi icebergs would be easier to stream at than than. We have to walk through that front gate and with the cameras and shit. Everyone's naked. Like it's. Oh, there's like people they're, they're are not, straight. They're not naked, but it's naked like, in the chain. I, I feel like it's it's the kind of place that it'd be much yeah, easier to be stream hard. at the beach than. Yeah. Yeah. No, you are right. I thought you had to wait two to three days after flying to go snorkeling so you don't die. Oh, your ear pressure. No, That's you're not. not you're not real. diving. If you if you're diving deep, also, yeah. Hassan's barely gonna put his head under the water. It's not real snorkeling. <laughs> <laughs> don't be mean to Hassan. He's gonna. No, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm touch. setting the expectations low so that when he does, we're all gonna be like. Whoa. There's a famous Turkish chef in Sydney with a bunch of restaurants. One is at Barangaroo, the new slick harborside area called Anason. We're gonna be close to. You go Auburn. It's got a oh, oh, yeah. Gallip- yeah, Gallipoli really. Mosque. Oh, <laughs> oh, dude, I would love to go. I would love to go honor the veterans of both sides of World War One. You know what I mean? Build that mosque. No, yours. Oh yeah, yeah, with pipes. Yeah. He used uh, uh, Sydney water pipes to make the minaret like like a yeah. mosque. He was <laughs> like, he was an engineer that would just kind of over-engineer everything, and he was like, no, we don't have to do it properly. We'll use water pipes to make the fucking the minaret. The minarets. That's cri- Wait, let me find this. What, what does it look like? And it like? looks funny. It just looks like water pipes with fake, fake little. Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna restore. Like, dude, Gallipoli Mosque? is it the Glibly Mosque or is it the big is it Auburn? Auburn Mosque. I don't know. It's the big one in Auburn. Yeah, Auburn Glibly Mosque. You have to live stream in a mosque. <laughs> I don't know. 
Dude, I'll take go, it up. Go images. Auburn yeah. Gallipoli Moss. So those those minarets are just made out of big water pipes. Oh, it's I mean, Ramadan now as well. True. No, dude, it's a no, month. It just started. The, we get, the Ramadan markets are a big thing at night. It's so well. crowded, though. It's and like, they kind of they like, suck. Yeah. suck compared to... I just the camera's better when they're not on. Yeah. 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 Gotta love how New Zealand and Australia don't celebrate the end of the war. We celebrate the day we invaded another country. Wait, really? Well, Anzac Day. Yeah. Oh, Anzac like Day is... When we lost the group. So, I always thought right. that, like, the Anzac yeah, thing was they Australia were... Day? No. Oh, yeah. And that. Australia Day is when we... Oh, invaded yeah, actually, Australia. Yeah. That's the invasion we won. That's yeah. the one war we won. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they don't have it for... They, you don't have the emu day, do you? Yeah, like, no one actually no, talks about that. No L's, yeah. That no L's. Happen. No L's posted. Anzac is when we got obliterated. Yeah, the Turkish forces just fucking smoked the Anzac soldiers big time. <laughs> but I always thought that it was like more of a resentment that they carried towards like... The British, the British Empire for like four. Be, no, 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 I think it is right. It's, I think there's a little pissed, bit of that. They're pissed that the British sent them in to get flogged by the Turks. It feels like right? a lot of that's forgotten though in a lot of the celebrations. Like it's not. It's like such a perfect. A lot of it is event. they died for us though. Yeah, like, like these, these kids made a sacrifice. I, I know that Paul Keating, former Australian <laughs> Prime Minister, noted China apologist. <laughs> he, yeah. he he really didn't like uh, Gallipoli. He really wanted to celebrate the Kokoda Trail. He thought like. Celebrating like um, Gallipoli was like celebrating like British, you know, controlling Australia or whatever. Mm. Yeah, I I always thought because of I think the maybe when I visited Chanakkale Gallipoli, like I was shocked that there were so many like straight up uh, Australian and New Zealand tourists that like go there. Yeah, yeah, and. The vibes I got from them were more like apologetic, but maybe those are like the woke guys, or maybe they were just like, uh, yeah, maybe just putting on a, putting on a fucking farce, a show. Yeah. I think I think the more um, reactionary ones are the ones that don't travel. Friendly Geordies impersonating Hassan. A pretty meaningless phrase from every awful political Twitch streamer ever. Leftist no, than the Democrats. <laughs> It's just transplanting that lazy South Park notion of both major parties are shit and shit like. That, I, that's not Vosh. That's definitely got to be me. I mean, he we looks like Vosh, be. but it does look like Vosh, but I say that. I, I am the one who says that Vosh is like a dick rider for the Democratic Party. <laughs> he loves, yeah. Jordy should like Vosh for that perspective. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird that he's, he's the American. It, it's weird that he like assigned my values to Vosh to shit on Vosh. I don't, but I don't think he Jordan's a big fan of the Democratic Party. I think he's a fan of the Labour, Labour Party, yeah. but yeah. Not a, which is very oh, oh. different. Yeah, it is different, and I think that fandom is could be waning. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> But well, I, I I thought the Labour Party was like your version of our Democratic right, Party. Yeah. But it's still, yeah. it's things. still like, like very well, nowhere near like. I think our like Liberal Party comparable. is more. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Liberal parties are like identical to the Democratic Party. Yeah. It's you know center right to like far right, depending on which yeah. country you're looking at. But like, like the UK Labour Party, for example, is now almost entirely like the Democratic yeah, Party. Yeah, that's true. Like. So I feel like that is the that's the that is the future of all labor Ours parties everywhere with quickly. neoliberalism. Yeah. yeah, where they just like basically turn into uh, they turn into like a variant of the Democratic Party. And they all all the young labor people and all the I guess people rising up they all fucking love like they love the West Wing and all that fucking Oh, stuff. it's really embarrassing. Oh like, no, the West Wing and they all like. Um, you know, they love Obama and just, you know, oh. like biographies. It's really, really, uh, it's really sad because the Labour, it was the first Labour Party in, in the world. Yeah, the first it, yeah. elected socialists. Mm. Well. Mm. And but they were like, they did a lot of good things that yeah. made Australia, you know, a lot better than it could have been. And yeah. um, it could, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll duke it out with friendly George. We'll have a friendly <laughs> duke out. Over, but I mean, if he doesn't like the Democratic Party, then you know, then there's not much to disagree on. I think. Um, what being Australia equals time out? I guess why? What happened? Why'd you get timed out? It's probably for asking me uh, where I'm gonna be so you can come and meet me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Problematic fave Obama. Gallipoli Moss. <laughs> I have, for the record, I personally do not understand what Friendly Jordy's like worldview is at all. 
I do have a lot of respect for him for all the work that uh, he's done for the the Gamba stuff. You know, putting his life on the line for sure. Um, but beyond that, like, I have no, I don't know what his like domestic opinions are on Australian politics. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we're. I'm gonna. I'm live. gonna be finding out live in front of a camera. But I am very excited. <laughs> I am very excited too. Have we, we are, boxing gloves as well? If you guys want to. No. Fight it out. How tall is he? Is he a big boy? Okay, good. Big big head, though. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, he does have a big head. (laughs) He exposed all. Hassan's got a small head. (laughs) (laughs) head. It's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. You have the whole Ottoman Empire here. You have Serbian, Croatian, Turkey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I got my forces. I got my dev shooterman with me. Okay, we're riding. We ride at dawn. Well, I guess he's a dev shooterman too, right? I think, I think he was only colonized by the Italians. They, the Turks yeah, never he, made it far enough. He oh, was, he was from. He's from like Split, which is like. Oh, okay. That's where my guys are from as well, but they're mm. different ethnicity. True, yes. true. Go to the Uyghur noodle place in Chinatown. It's, it's unique good. and fucking bangs. Also, Emperor good. Puffs. Yeah, we have to get Emperor Puff. It is a natural defense to the big head insults. Okay. <laughs> what time is it in Australia? It is currently uh, 11.56 a.m. I am... Labor's not a left party at all. They are the Dems now. Yeah. Got to visit yeah. Newtown for some leftist culture. <laughs> Much I always said earlier. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Please watch Christian Walker's TikTok series. Okay. Friendly Jordy said cringe opinions a couple years ago, basically espousing, don't waste your vote on Greens, vote Labour instead, even though they d- have ranked choice voting. But I mean, he is in the trenches now, getting firebomb, covering Gamba, so he's fine. Only annoying internet people who post as practices of mass issues with him. Yeah, I just know him as like, back when I was the American hot guy that uh, likes Noam Chomsky, he was the Australian hot guy, like model guy that likes Noam Chomsky out here. So that's like the only thing I knew about him, but that was like 10 years ago. So I don't really know what has happened since then, with the exception of like his new stuff, his new coverage. He won't see any of this because he doesn't have a phone. No, so I can, no, I can, you can say whatever you want. You can say yeah, whatever you want. Yeah, yeah I can, like, I can hey, talk shit. Jordan. My favorite Australian. Asan, you need to bring up uh, with the friendly Jordies that the politician he, that he does a lot of hit pieces on said that people were being racist to him because he's Italian. Oh, yeah. 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 Wait, yeah. who? We got sued for being. Uh, Jordan got sued. A Croatian man got sued for being racist towards Italian. an Italian man. His yeah, the thing His is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, first of all, this fucking arm hasn't stopped moving. Yeah, what kind of Chinese wizardry is Perpetual this? Perpetual motion, bro. There's no motor. There's no battery, bro. What is this? Oh, wait, no, now you slow it down. Yeah, like, you, no, if you, you do down. that, it stays the same. Right. That it's is weird. Life. That's weird, man. That's like, how does that work? You just need to hook your house up to this. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. That's, I don't really understand. I don't That's really... how they're out coal in China. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the cat with the arm. <laughs> what, is this sim- what does this signify? What does this symbolize? What does that mean? What is the, what's the significance of the, uh, the cat? No, you're asking us. I'm asking the, you guys. The, the you're you're kind of Chinese. Well, my parents were born in China. Yeah, there you go. This is actually their cat in China. That's how they made it here. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was rowing for them. <laughs> yeah, in a dinghy. I have no idea. Is it just it's good just, luck? Or? You're saying good luck? Yeah. Do I rub its head or is that a big no-no? I don't know why I rubbed it so sexually. It's so dusty. Yeah, I told you it's from it's from China. My good luck and good fortune. Gotokuji in Japan. Okay, well, you know. Yo, okay, uh, the Maneki Neko. Be- beckoning cat is a common Japanese. Wait, what? It's not, it's not, even, it's not even Chinese. Oh no! Oh my God! It Let's turns out. out it turns out it's not even in. It's not even Chinese, bro. It must be. Okay, we've, we've replaced the cat. Okay, yeah, finally. Oh, the chairman. No. Oh. Not move? <laughs> no. Yeah, that's he he is not Japanese. We know that <laughs> for a fact, okay? Um I'm going to be taking them uh with me to China in October. We're definitely doing it, by the way. It is set up in stores to invite people in. That's why the cat is waving. It's prosperity. Yeah. Come on in. There's a small Chinese on the inside. 
Okay. I love going to like what hot Chinese. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. some old school. Right? Yeah. yeah. They have all yeah, of there's these. In there. There's all there's a they have it in all the Chinese restaurants, but yeah. it, it's uh, I guess of Japanese origin. It's probably stolen from the Chinese. Yeah. Why'd you skip slash cancel Japan? Have you moved on to greener pastures? I just didn't want to be away from home for 14 days straight. I thought it was like far too long to be away from freedom and prosperity and the free world. You know what I mean? I'm already in the global south right now and I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I already feel uncomfortable. I, it's sick, dude. It's beautiful with the exception of this one fucking thing that I don't want, I can't show you, but there is a massive spider web up there in one of the window panels and the spider is like captured a dragonfly i think yeah multiple it's like multiple dragonflies it is fucking terrifying you should see it in the morning in the yard every time you walk out you have to dismantle like 10 spider webs just to get down the back of the yard i don't like that yeah that's not i've heard a lot my cousin told me my turkish cousin told me that there are snakes that are hiding in the toilets no like there, you get water pythons, diamond pythons that will go in the toilets, but it's not like they regularly live there, and that's in like up north as well. So wait, so they so, are, but it's not like what the fuck? That is a thing. About, you know the yeah. one you, you found one the other day, right? Which one? The the really big one in your toilet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> that was a carpet can, python. I can so tell. Different. I can tell he's yeah, fucking around. Yeah. Okay, that's crazy. I don't like that. Um, there what are the snakes fuck? in the backyard though? Like I. Yeah, but rare. Like red right. bellies and stuff. Yeah. Are they poisonous or venomous? They wouldn't yeah, kill they you. They can kill a child, but not... Um, There's brown snakes, though. Yeah. They'd probably kill you. What are you saying? What the <laughs> fuck? Like, so no, there's it's, like... It's so annoying. Australians always do it, like, play it up. Like, yeah. <laughs> it is annoying. Like, we were telling David, like, when David was over here, and he was freaking out about walking around the yard. He's like, you've told me you've caught funnel webs in your pool. I'm like... They only, the only reason they fall in the pool is because they come out at night. If you're walking around, you won't also ever they see hide. them. They're so they're hide. They're what so are, scared. What, are, what, is, what is he talking about? The funnel web spider. Funnel web spider. Like we should just tell most, you because he won't believe the us. The most dangerous well. spider. Oh, the most poisonous? Oh! Uh, what? And they're only they're in small. Sydney. Sydney funnel web. I got them in my pool all the time. But you what never... are you saying like, right no now? No nice and then we're so prepared with anti-venom in Australia. It's what like... the food? So, like, it can bite, but at least, like, you have... You got a couple of minutes. No, you got a while. You got a while. We got anti venom. Bro, why did the Google Google immediately was like, "Do you want a precise location like <laughs> next to your?" <laughs> Google's like, "Here, they're here. We'll tell you where the funnel web spiders are next to your house, <laughs> right now." This is fucking terrifying. But California's got like way scary animals, right? It's got like bears and like no cougars. bears, not cougars. Yeah, like we don't have anything like that. No, but they're like they're fine. They don't like fuck with people ever. You know what I mean? They. Yeah. These guys. Th I don't believe that <laughs> now. <laughs> did you did you hear what happened in Queensland? There was a daycare center, and there was a snake in the yard. Um, and one of the workers wanted to protect the kids, so he went to like save the kids, picked up the snake, and then he got bitten and died. Sad story. And Sad story. The, I don't know why I said it was like it was funny. And the kindergarten is liable because he got injured at work. Okay, yeah. here's what I don't understand. Are you guys so caught up on like snake issues that it's like a global thing? Australians like know about snake attacks yeah. in America even? Because like I don't know that. I never heard about this. <laughs> That's You know Mark, the lawyer in the Pine Gap video? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. got a big polemic about snakes. He's going, he likes them? No, he, he fucking hates them. And he goes really? like, he goes... Why the fuck do Australians think snakes are good? What the hell? Like, we're sick. There's just some sick adoration of them. We kill everything else. And he well, that's how I feel about sharks. Them. Like, sharks. Everyone, all they keep is like, save the sharks. No, kill every I think shark. He thinks I agree, with, I agree with Donald Trump on, on sharks. Dude, he's, he's so sharks. right about sharks. Will we he, get more fish? We'll get more fish to eat. Eat less. The scariest Aussie animals. The real scariest Aussie animal is the top of the hour ad break, which comes at the top of every hour. If you no longer want to see him, though, all you need to do is subscribe, mate, for $5. For five Australian dollars, which is like half the fucking price of a real American dollar. All for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. You get one free Prime subscription. Are you cringing? Is it bad? Is it... No, he said it was yeah, good. I think it's like... It's pretty... It's not bad. I think it's just... You it goes in and out. It's like a slip in and out. Like, sometimes it's good. Good. And then <laughs> and then <laughs> that, that was good. 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 You get, good. The, dip, you get good. the diphthong right. The oi, oi, oi. It's kind of like Vietnamese. Yeah. Yeah. Right, here's the three minute ad break now.
You say free? No. How do you say free? For free minute. <laughs> three. 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 Really three. 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 three minute ad break it's now. It's Australians here. This is awesome. Yeah. What's the biggest thing that's different? It's like water. 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 I, I want to ask the boys on what do they think of the French socialist parties. We have like salt, socialist alliance, etc. Oh my oh. god. This is your wheelhouse. I mean, I, I think I like what they I do. I just, the, the thing that I don't like, like is the way that the, the time you experience them is when you're at university. <laughs> and it's, it's annoying. It's, it's pretty thing. annoying <laughs> and like cult-like. I um, think the best thing about them is that they just, they all splintered and fractured. It's yeah, just yeah. great. <laughs> There's like a million different <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's it's classic. We've got like the Communist Party of Australia and the Australian Communist Party. And, it's like uh, the IRA. They're newspaper yeah. jockeys? Oh God, are they Trotskyists? Is yes. that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. Classic. Are fine in the Classic. Of Compared to uh, and then other politics. So. Yeah, it's all fine. <laughs> and I like it. Buddies. They're exposing people. Sounds like that. Revcom? No, it's probably not as bad as Revcom. Unless they're like a cult. Are they like cult? Well, they just listed two different things. You've got Socialist Alliance and Socialist Alternative. And Socialist yeah. Alliance is like the one that you can vote for. And Socialist Alternative is like the uni one, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, SALT is a cult that always takes control over protests and splinters protests. Oh, so they are like Revcom. Yeah, they, oh yeah. Oh. In America, we have Revolutionary Communists, Bob, Chairman Bob Avakian's party, and uh, they're like insane. Well, at the Palestine protest here, it did annoy me a bit when they were just like, they're there to sign people up to SALT. Yeah. Are like, they, were they the ones that were saying uh, the death of Jews? <laughs> 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 Which then oh, turned out every single person turned out turned out that they weren't even saying that oh, apparently, yeah. like that was insane. That was like one of the first like pro Palestine Wait, rallies. Yeah, it was all, yeah, over. It was all over. Bro, first of all, if there's anywhere, if someone has associated free Palestine movement with like anti semitism, American media is on <laughs> it, dude. Okay, there could be like a four person gathering. Where one guy said something that could be misconstrued as anti Semitic, American media would be like, that's, see? <laughs> see? They all hate the Jews. They want to kill all the Jews. They want to genocide the Jews. Like, our media is so bad, bro. Our media is so bad that I, since October 7, have probably relied more on Israeli media to cover what the fuck is going on. And the Israeli media is obviously bad too, in many different respects. But like, I have relied more for regular uh, coverage and analysis on Israeli media than American media. But, Dog shit. But have you condemned Hamas? I oh <laughs> my god, so much, so much condemnation of Hamas. No, I I now have um, I now openly will be like, no, I'm I'm a lesser evil voter. That's why I vote Hamas every election. <laughs> stop, lesser stop evil. Israeli Trump. <laughs> no, because it's like because like think about it. Lesser evil. Hamas is the lesser evil when you compare it to like the Israeli Knesset, with with some exceptions. You know, shouts out to Doctor Ofer Kassif. And some of the other people, but like overall, the Israeli war cabinet has killed way more civilians uh, it, it, as a as a percentage overall uh, than Hamas has. Mm. Yeah, lesser evil voting. That's I'm a lesser evil voter. That's why I vote Democrat every election, and that's why I vote Hamas every election. Um, you're talking to Hamas, Pike, or brother. What do you think yeah, exactly? <laughs> um, there's a free Palestine rally at Hyde Park, Sydney, Sunday at 1:30 p.m. Uh, we will not. Oh, we actually have a perpetual uh, at protest Al at Albo's office. Oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't say, it, but oh, oh, not, 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 Albo's yeah. office. Oh, dude, yeah. you guys. But they're all. They've been up. there for like a month. You guys fucked up by having an Albanian thing. run the country. Yeah, an Albanian. <laughs> a secret Albanian. <laughs> That's what it means. It means that in yeah. Italian, doesn't it? Yeah, he's a secret <laughs> Albanian, isn't he? <laughs> Crypto album. Oh, oh, The serve jumped out. That's <laughs> yeah. crazy. Yeah. Alexa got me a gift as well, which I can't show you <laughs> on screen, or I will burn it as soon as I reach America. Just it's a poster that says kill Albanians. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't say it doesn't say kill Albanians, but it is literally like I, I likened it to like a like a Rhodesian. <laughs> propaganda poster in on a t-shirt about serbia <laughs> being protected only by the serbs <laughs> yeah um we just we like to we like to give each other little treats like that you know there's different versions yeah. of different versions of fascist merchandise i brought them uh you know american fascism a little bit not the cox one that one is normal but <laughs> yeah um 
I want to ask. Oh yeah, they, we just talked about the socialist uh, fringe socialist parties. Yeah, how, how does one... Look up the Australian Greens. They're the biggest left wing grassroots party in the country, which is solid. They I just, they I just, I refuse. I refuse. I don't trust the Greens across the board. I, I thought that, Why, just because of their name. I have a universal distrust for the Green Party everywhere. They <laughs> maybe because of like what I know about the American Green Party or the like. One's pretty great. The the European oh yeah did you did you hear about the one the lady that had to resign or there were calls for her resignation because at the Berlin festival there was a Palestinian guy and uh, and a and a Jewish dude and they they came up together and they talked about like the ongoing ethnic cleansing campaign in Israel and she clapped alongside everyone else and then she had to come out and release a statement. That she was only <laughs> clapping at the Jewish guy and not the Palestinian guy, and they still want her to resign. That's amazing. Which is awesome. She was like, no, 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 not the Palestinian one. They said the same thing, but I only clapped when the Jewish guy was speaking, which <laughs> I think is so awesome. Crazy. Yeah, here, this is, it's a real fucking story, which I think is hilarious. It, it sounds like the kind of caricatures of like Stalinists. Yeah, well. yeah. Like, yeah. I, was, I was actually clapping in one direction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the German Ministry of Culture puts out an official statement that the award ceremony at which no other land received the prize, Green Minister Claudia Roth was only clapping for the Jewish Israeli member of the filmmaking team, not the Palestinian. They were saying, boo words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I fucking love that. In his speech, the Jewish Israeli journalist Yuval Abraham was, wait for it, complaining that he and his Palestinian colleague were <laughs> are treated differently under Israeli rule. <laughs> so even then, you can't even clap for the Jewish guy in, in Germany. <laughs> like, honestly, if they're not unconditionally dick-riding Israel. Um, I don't think they care about Israel. They just love apartheid in Germany. You know? yeah, they, yeah, that's my favorite thing yeah. when I hear, like, a German person unironically and uncritically, without a shred of irony, say, we know the genocide. Like, we are... And I'm like... <laughs> are you owning like what is happening here yeah. like you did it though you can't yeah. say that like they'll say that while simultaneously criticizing South Africans for having that position yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's like you know you guys are on like the different sides of the genocide <laughs> right like it, it's ridiculous I think they were pre the Germans were pretending to do genocide to get on the inside to take down all the other genocides. They were white hat genociders, yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. like Ger like Donald Trump is a white hat pedophile. To, to stop genocide, you got to think like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just got to do it. And oops, sometimes it gets out of control. You know, major lessons learned. Um, but yeah, start shitting on Germany, please. I came for this. I mean, I I do all the time. It was really nice when we uploaded the Pine Gap video. There were so many Germans talking about Ramstein and all these other. American oh yeah, mm. yeah. They're huge over there. Yeah, they are. They're also, you know, very important for for NATO in general. What is this? Google cassowary. Oh, you see one of those tomorrow. Oh, it's so cool. What is it? Cassowary. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're like prehistoric. Fucking the guy at the reptile monster. park last time actually arced it up a little bit for us. Yeah, he's a bit of a dick. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean arced it? So like got it aggressive. Got it like. That's... So this is the only bird that has killed people. Sebi, Sebi did that in West. Oh yeah. In West oh, yo, yeah. this shit looks crazy. Wait, I. I Dude, the other prehistoric bird, I don't know if they have it in Australia, is the, the stone bill or whatever? The shoe bill. Oh, yeah, the shoe bill. Yeah. Yeah. The one that fucking bird. sounds like AK-47. <laughs> that shit's... Have you seen how big they are? Dude, I ha they look like an animatronic. Yeah. So cassowaries are big as well. They're like six foot. They're so tall. Um, and they kill people. They got a spike on their foot and they'll stab people. With them. In, in the town in um, Papua New that? Guinea. Did, Port I, Port did Port I get that? Did I order that? I didn't realize there were six in the thing. You got meat pies? They're Australian, four and twenty. It's what tradies eat. You said you want to be a tradie. Yeah, we, we can LARP as a tradie a little bit. In the um, town in uh, Papua New Guinea, they have they have them to eat. Like they have them in this stick. Oh, uh, this really? fucking I'll thing? Show you, I'll show you in the video. <laughs> and the guy I was with was antagonizing it and like putting his hand near it, but it's just held in there by a few sticks. So Here? It's, uh, it's in it's in another one called uh Paradise Bond. Hold on. Uh, it's on. It's on Jordan's channel. Oh, those are the. Oh yeah, I ordered a shit ton of waters too. You know you can drink the water. Yeah. It's on uh, Jordan's channel. Paradise Bond. But they ate it since when I went back. Uh, oh, was that the one you were playing with? They ate. They ate it. Yeah, they've got a few more, but. Oh. They <laughs> I guess that makes sense if you can raise a chicken yeah. that's ten times the size of a chicken. And then they, but then they use the bones as well as knives. That's sick. Uh, 
Where is it? Uh, just go. Oh I'm going to subscribe to him. I was not. Um, there, that's it. How about one there? Home. Back home. And just the first video, yeah. Probably oh, Paradise Bomb. Shit, dude. Us. One point. It's like halfway through. He misses with a, yeah, a bit further, slightly further, slightly further. Probably at the, yeah, probably at the spike, yeah. So he grew up with eating cassowaries. Oh! Yeah, <laughs> he grew up eating cassowaries. And it's just a few sticks. And he would just go in and oh, shove oh, his oh, hand oh, in oh, it. Come, come back. Cassowary. Dangerous <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're fucking mansplaining. Yeah, yeah. You're white splaining you to the dude. <laughs> the, you're you know white. They can kill you. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that shit looks angry. Oh my god, that looks so angry, bro. He, he made it angry. That's so beautiful. He, uh, <laughs> bro, it looks like it's got. I would not say it's beautiful. <laughs> Look at its eyes. It's pretty cool. Blue it's cool. Blue. It's cool looking, but it's like. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's got like a ball sack on his fucking face. How's Aussie coffee? This the cold brew that I have is not that good. I'll be honest. Okay, okay, okay. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back from the Okay. We got that. We got that. No, 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 no. Come on, Sebi. Come on, Sebi. Come back. Oh, yeah, he's the spokesman for the uh, Gorilla Army. Oh, good one. Good, good one. What do you feel like after that? <laughs> have you, his dad was a are they cassowary in Pass Valley? His dad was a uh, yeah. cannibal. Warrior. There are, so you've seen many. Everywhere. Everywhere. For the Yali tribe. Does anyone have my uh, my link up, my hugging video from Alveas? I want to show these Aussie boys how I fucking roll, okay? Does anyone have that quickly, ready to go? Because uh, I want to show I want to show the Australians like how I actually don't fear one of their natural predators. Yeah, that's right. Here it is, dude. Are you impressed? Snacky mate. Oh, no, yeah. not this oh, one. Did I say the magic word? Oh, that's a that's well, a backwards the magic and forwards word? one. I, dude, you fucking nailed it. It is a blue tongue lizard. Oh. But I think it is, yeah, blue tongue lizard. But that's not even what I was looking for. We, we got the other one that has two heads. This like is a canned food for stinks that he eats sometimes. Oh, he's giving it a lick. Toast's favorite food is snails, um, but here it is. <laughs> I've never, I don't think I've ever pet a cow before. Oh, he just came out. Oh my f God, stop. What's that? That's a tiny monkey. That's worse than anything in Australia. If that bites you. Yeah, you're getting fucking... Here it is, dude. Look at this, dude. Look what? at how just brave I am. I'm, I'm a little worried. <laughs> That's how oh. they get you, though. You think you're friends oh. and they take over. Did you give him your ring? I didn't. I was trying to go for the pet. There, go pet him on the back of his neck. Well, okay. Oh, he's... Yeah, good job. Aww. Oh, what's up? You chill like that? Oh, he, oh, the shiny stuff he likes. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. You can have, you can have the shiny stuff. Oh, it's kind of gross. Like what? I mean, like the feeling of it. She's a cool. She's a cool animal. I'm just saying. I, I'm gonna show you how to give stone. Dude, what? How how terrifying is that for you as an Australian man on a scale of it's one fake. to ten? It's CG, obviously. Yeah. No this one's is brave enough to do that. They're this like is really like really. we hug emus in America. That's how little. Like, that's how little of a threat they present, that we have completely made them docile and we hug them as friends. You got two, a Gallipoli reminder and an email. I want to yeah. go. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> yeah. so Donkey came from a zoo in California. His mom did not sit on his egg, so he was incubated and raised by people at a zoo and then was transferred here. Oh my God, horsey. Oh my. There's another, dude, I love this cow so much. This is Winnie. She's my best friend. Um, yeah, chinchillas. We're gonna basically do this uh, tomorrow, by the way. But like this time, they're gonna be like rocking. They're gonna be in the outback, out right? Is that? Uh, this is what you changed into for your interview. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's insane. You you had a way more presentable look before before you put on the tradie shorts that are cum stained into oblivion, dude. What the fuck? Yo, show the chat. What you're I wearing. Your I thought I looked cooler. I, I need to cop me a pair of those, 100%. Yeah, we can go nearby. Do you and want you're wearing. As well, yeah, I, I need, before I leave Australia, I need to get tradie shorts and I also need to get the Rebana short.
I had a t-shirt. Oh, the thing is, that fuck. doesn't even exist. That's, that's a real life That's an Alexa that. special. Yeah. yeah. I got that working for Ribena, so you're going to have to get a job. Maybe if we go to like a, <laughs> like, like uh, we could do like a, uh, I go to, I go to every thrift store in Australia before I find a Ribena <laughs> shirt. <laughs> the stream doesn't end until I find a Ribena shirt. I feel like you tell me why. You, I've never seen it anywhere. No, no. I want one so bad. Did you work at Ribena? I um I handed out Ribena in um in supermarkets as like a seventeen year old, and I get abused by so many people. They're like, "You're poisoning our kids. You fucking it, sugar." It does taste like vomit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but you were a kid when you're doing it. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. take this straight to the top. <laughs> yeah. You need to do a Xiaoma TikTok of speaking in Australian. Oh, I, uh, yeah. You guys don't know about Shalma. Shalma, New York City. Right. Like he's always he actually has pretty solid uh, uh, Mandarin, pretty That's decent. So funny. Oh, this this guy, person yeah. said, "What? Where is not an engineer? Do you know who that is? That's Rowan. That's Rowan's oh, YouTube channel. Oh, really? That's so funny. That's so funny because our friend started a YouTube oh, channel, man. and it's so funny that like Wait. so many people are like, "Oh, every Australian YouTube knows uh, YouTuber knows each other." Dude, you way. know what's we insane? Went, I went to school with him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I have to I have to mention something here. Yeah. My brother, who is an engineer, as you guys know, I don't know if you don't know that, but he actually literally told me he has a new favorite engineering channel, and it was not an engineer. It's Rowan! Uh, Wait, he, there is a video where Alexa is returning his lawnmower back to Rowan, and then Rowan just filmed that, and everyone was like, what the fuck is this? Every Australian YouTuber, he borrows his lawn, he lends his lawnmower to Alexa. That's crazy that... Uh, I'm going to tell Rowan he, that. In case he randomly didn't brought it up. He randomly was like, yeah, my new favorite channel that I've been watching is not an engineer. I mean, it's very much an engineer's channel. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like he, he knows how to make stuff unlike I did things. Well, that Rowan was the guy that I was gonna <laughs> send photos True. of bombs. He only knows how to, you know, he knows how to fucking bomb shit. <laughs> it's like the Ben Shapiro uh, tweet: Israelis <laughs> like to build, Arabs only like to live in sewage and bomb shit. Literally, dude, this guy. That's very, very funny. I need a precision straight edge, so I made three. I made a steel rest because I suck at planning. This is, cl dude, this. Is so in my brother's wheelhouse. It's not even funny. <laughs> Sometimes I'll turn around and I'll hear like loud noises coming from his phone, and I just watch. I, I'm like, "What the fuck are you watching?" And he's watching like Instagram reels of just like heavy industrial machinery, That's like making do. widgets or whatever the fuck. And I'm like, "Why are you? You are so autistic. Like this makes no sense. <laughs> like how is this?" content that you're consuming it, it doesn't make any yeah, hydraulic presses and shit like that so no wonder he loves this I love, channel i love the guy who does the hydraulic presses with his face great <laughs> have content. you seen that guy? Wait, what no chinese guy <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I don't know he's, from. Uh, he's great lots of chatter saying the green saws are pretty based and their policy page aligns really well with your politics okay i think the greens no are i think that yeah. they're, they're good like, okay, I trust them now. You know, um, the, the first time we came on your stream, the Green Party messaged me and they were like, good luck on Hassan's stream. Yeah. We'll be watching you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Damn. I, I, okay, I like the reason. I feel bad. They pulled in some like, really good people, like a bunch of just like genuine socialists. Yeah. Depends on which state you're in, but yeah. They're... Yeah. I feel attacked. Like CNC stuff. Uh, CNC stuff is cool. Okay. A lot of engineers watch stuff like that, though. To be honest, it's just have, it's just called being having autism. That's what it is. You're describing like a sensory experience that people that don't have autism don't understand. It's like our version of ASMR. Yeah. yeah. The Xiaomi uh, classic. Oh, here. This is the. I've seen this guy. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh. Yo, pipe him. Oh. 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 You should do that here. Speak in American. Yeah. Say something. You'd be like. No, can I have some water? And they'll be like, water. <laughs> Whoa! But you have to have the soundboard ready. Yeah. <laughs> beer, 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 beer. That's what I mean. Like, that, that's what I gotta do. Like, uh, fucking American orders in perfect Aussie <laughs> slang. Can I have a little bottle of water? Shocks everyone. Wait, what? A, a bottle of. Can I have a little bottle of water? Yeah. No, bo wait, what was bottle of? Bottle of is just bottle spill. Yeah, like, bottle of. Need to go to the bottle of, mate. Fucking hell. Uh, Show me where the nearest bottle of is, please. Um, Jordy's gonna be here in ten minutes, 10, yeah. and we're okay. probably leaving in like. Oh, uh, so you're gonna be on your own. So maybe we'll just say hey. Wait, fuck! Oh no, he's he's late. He's late. He'll be, he'll be here in ten minutes. Dude, 
<laughs> you're I'm on your scared. own. Yeah. I'm scared of fucking linking up with him by myself, dude. Mm. He's gonna kill and also me. The bikies are watching your stream. They'll know where both of you are. Oh no! no I mean, that's fun. I do want to meet them. So. I literally <laughs> told them like I want to do like one of those. You know how like uh, uh, the the. Pootie, the YouTuber that we were watching the other day, like did a meeting up with the Yakuza uh, uh, video. I kind of want to do that with the bikies and like get a better feel and get a better understanding of like what their what their uh, situation looks like. Because I feel like as uh, as an American, like it just isn't very intimidating to be called bikies, especially with an Australian accent. But I'm sure they are intimidating and very scary. But like I don't know what it is about like. Criminal elements. They're being called like soprano. Isn't that scary either, right? Like it's the oh. highest. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but the thing is, like, but but the, no one, like, the Italian mafia doesn't call themselves soprano. What are they the difference. Yeah, yeah. I guess no. That's a TV yeah. show. You, you, yeah. you need to meet. You need to meet Spaniard. Yeah. Oh, when you're here, you should get Spaniard. Do you know who Spaniard is? He's kind of this uh, YouTuber who went he's to prison. He's gun lad. And he, now his kind of big thing is going to like the housing dodgiest commission areas, areas, dodgiest areas. But he also just reviews food. Reviews yeah, food. He's, but he's in the like, dodgy areas? He's it's kind everywhere. of like... Is he in Sydney? He's in is, Sydney. He like a, is he like a yeah. fucking sick he's prison actually, abolitionist? Or is he like... No, uh, is he doing like, Tyler Oliveira content no, he's where he's like, to prison. I went to the fucking worst parts of Australia. But he does it in it's, a better way. It's Tyler Oliveira, but he's had life experience. Yeah. Right? And, and like a lot of the people there know him and are kind of like... Mates. Not personally, but some of them are mates with him and it's kind of like... Yeah. Also, he's like really charming and funny. Yeah. yeah. He's so, massive and he does so he's, kickboxing and he could kill you. So he's not like Tyler Oliveira no, no, in he's, any he's way. He's a fucking sick guy, yeah. This is the guy, Spanian, yeah. The Hood, Melbourne's most notorious suburbs, and part, like part one three. Of the best storytellers. Yeah, he's, like, he's good. He's fun yeah. to watch. Inside Brisbane's roughest area. He, they he caused a riot in Brisbane. Do you see that? <laughs> Wait, what? Trying to what? Get photos. Oh, I love it, my like a city, baby. Okay, that guy is not like a gangster, bro. There's no fucking that's shot. That's Australian standard for. <laughs> Like this guy is this guy like a who? No, 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 I know, but I'm saying like he he he's got the same fucking like Gucci bag that I have. Like what was yeah, this, this, this is what our labs look That's... like here, and they're the guys that were like. I like a city, baby. <laughs> What's your like version of Naperville? Because like Chicago, South Side of Chicago is like notorious, right? You got Old Block. Like, there's a lot of gang activity there, but there's a lot of poverty there. And a lot of, like, white kids that live in the suburbs in Naperville claim that they're from oh, Chicago right. and fake it as though they're, like, um, they're saying Bankstown, Punchbowl. Yeah. It's like, like a really, like do you have, like, a really rich area where a lot of, like, suburban kids... Or maybe oh, Redford, but, Redford, Redford, oh, but, Redford. But also, for some reason, if you go to Balmain, which is one of the like richest areas in Sydney, you yeah. see more people dressed like Adelaide's yeah, than yeah, anywhere, yeah. anywhere else. But Red, also, Redford nature, a little bit, but Red or Maroubra, Maroubra. Oh, yeah, like art, art students, rough. art students love wearing TNs now. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, now you can't tell. Yeah. So Mount Druid and all that—that's like still the rough areas, but still not like LA. Like you, nah. it's still safe but to walk around. Crime in Sydney is a lot. Because we've got the, like, the most inflated cocaine prices on earth and the most inflated yeah. housing prices on earth, it's very like white collar and like kind <laughs> so, of con contained so, in a way. So you know? inflation has made it so profitable that it's like most criminal elements are just like, well off, they're fucking yeah. So yeah. Rich. yeah. Oh, that's sick. Good for them. That's a way to solve the problem, it seems. Because we can't link, we can't link up with him because he doesn't have any. I don't have any access to him or his. Can you put his phone, his homie's phone number in here so like I have it? Uh, do you want me to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Here you go. Here you go. Just don't show it on camera. Uh -huh. How do I? Yeah, yeah. Do you not have an iPhone too? Oh, thank no, God, God you have a yeah, fucking yeah, iPhone. Yeah, Jesus not, Christ. The thing is, Bank, Bankstown, all those places are still. I think it's, right? Right? it's like an ethnic community as well. Yeah. So it's like you just got. Don't, don't show it. You're oh, showing oh, your. It's like as the suburbs yeah. get bigger, people oh, go to these areas. It's fine. Um. Our gang activity is kids with Gucci and Adidas attire, bored and faking gang lifestyle, hanging out in landmines and acting tough during drugs and wanting to start fist fights. There's like like that, that, but then there is the actual criminal element, which is like, which is just cleaning drug money through property yeah, development yeah, and yeah. Like rorts with childcare, which is huge at the moment. Like it's, there's been more, I mean, it's 
big by Sydney standards. There's been more like gangland killings recently than there has been in a long time. Yeah. And that's because uh, that's because Coke's reached a very high level, but also because it's been like, yeah, people warring over turf and. What is this? Don't link up with bikies or Spanian. It'll be a disaster. If you want to explore multiculturalism, you need to do it in Melbourne. It's a lot more chill there. In Sydney, you'll probably end up getting robbed. No, what are they going to fucking rob me of? I don't have anything. Like, all of this shit is fake, dude. It's not, like, fucking expensive. You know what I mean? It's, like, stainless steel. What are they going to do? That doesn't, like... Oh, so you don't, no one gets rolled anymore. Yeah. Really. It's like, you're still... Wow. There's, too much, yeah. there's too much money to be made. It's like, not worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah bringing in... It's not as big. Is it? It's <laughs> not much blue collar crime. They're, they're gonna rob me of my stream key so they can stream <laughs> on my Twitch channel. I guess. Spaniard would love that. Yeah, just don't ask Spaniard's opinion on trans people. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. I'm Look sure. At him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure he doesn't have the best of opinions on a lot of things that I I uh, will will disagree with him on. They aren't wrong. I know little Mick Kosenko, president of the QLD Rebels. The issue is they're racist and assholes. And it's problematic, to be honest. <laughs> Leftist <laughs> chat. Yeah, dude. Yeah, well, you know these <laughs> organized crime people haven't read their theory. That's you know? so what's, funny. What's their <laughs> Laser beam at his camera equipment, Rob. I mean, they, uh, you know, it is what it is. If it happens, GG's, right? That's because laser beam's a little weak gaming streamer. <laughs> Not like <laughs> not like the sound <laughs> variety. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have the variety Just muscles kidding. that I have. You know what I mean? Um, why do they even call the gangs bikies? Anyway, I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not disrespecting the bikies. Okay, if your fucking bikey friends are in the chat right now, I'm not like, this is not like a, I'm not like calling them out or anything. I am just fascinated by it in general. Uh, I like to, I like to, you know, find out more about like local. Uh, you know, I guess the, the local criminal element, it's not worth it to give them the platform. What? Spanian is a mad cooker and was spitting hella anti-vax shit during COVID law. Guys, I think we've already established that, like, yeah. I uh, probably won't agree with them on it much, I, but that's not the whole point. Um, bro, I IRL'd at, like, 3 a.m. everywhere. The only sketch shit was on the train, but they were all just drunk. No one wanted to jack my shit. Yeah, that's where the only place that's dodgy in Sydney is outside, like, a pub. Like when yeah. people are drunk. Really no, I've drunk. I've had lads like staunch me on a train. Yeah, but it's staunch, they, staunch like they arc kind of up, they like, arc up like up, they want to yeah. fight you. These guys are doing graffiti, and I was like, I was like, oh, what are you guys writing? Because they're doing it in my carriage. And then the other lads from another carriage came in, and they were like, you fucking talking to my brother? You fucking talking to my brother? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. That's as bad as it gets. <laughs> Um, you had such a good one where you had the lads trying to um, take alcohol when you were working at the bottle shop. Oh, so annoying. I tried to be cool and I was like, boys, if you're stealing, don't be obvious about it. And then he kind of walked up, showed me a knife under his shirt. He's like, what the fuck are you saying to me? I was like... So what did they shank people? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So. Uh, you almost got a shank in? No, I don't think they were going to shank me. I just tried to be cool. I was like, yeah. boys, I'm like you. Look at me. Yeah, it's all funny. I steal money from the till. I just do it. <laughs> yeah. I steal money from the door, mate. That's right. That's, that's how we're going to fix Australia, mate. We're going to fucking... <laughs> oh, my God. The, the fucking driver was talking to me about how... He tried to explain to me what a nanny state is. <laughs> I just remembered. It's like, Australia is uh, what is known as a nanny state. <laughs> Can't do anything. And I immediately hit him with the, bro, I fucking, I'm American. We paid the same amount of taxes as you, and we get nothing in return. <laughs> and immediately he was like, you know what, you're right. <laughs> you, yeah, no, he literally was like, you know, at least the government does take care of like disabled people and shit. Like that was his, he backed away from that position immediately. Our American hogs will be literally like disabled on welfare, on disability and still shit on it. That's, that's like the best part of like Australian culture. Just go, oh yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, cool. Especially with like welfare and stuff. Like yeah. a lot of people went from it. It's like a third of, that government spending as well. You, you know what's a fun Australian thing we should do with you? What? Is shoplifting from Woolies and Coles from self service. Okay, I don't want to fucking do that. Hold on, I got a pee. Alright, I think they're here. Jordan's here. Yeah. We gotta get going. So we, uh, we'll link up with you guys in Chinatown. Okay. Um, who should. You have our phone numbers. Bro, Alexis has oh. been eating all of the stuff. He left the fucking chocolate milk out, didn't even put it in the fridge. Shoplifting is your daily pastime. Yeah, that's the thing. You can do the classic. You uh, you get steak and then you, you know, scan it as carrots. 
and that works well. I'm putting the fucking chocolate milk in the, in the fridge. Have you had? Uh, really. Chocolate milk? I get definitely oh, had yeah. chocolate milk before. Oh, you gotta do it. Wait, I gotta pee. What's up, dude? No, I'm not. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. It's on. Nice to meet you. Make sure the camera's on. It's locked hey, hey. right now. So yeah. Yeah. You won't yeah. say these yeah. updates. Yeah, it's on it. It's live now if you want to come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not like eight. You can say whatever you want. Skip. Fuck. Okay, okay. <laughs> 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 I changed my mind. Uh, uh, is it what? There's heaps of screw kids. Heaps of what? Screw kids. What's all these? Jesus. That's Hassan's nicotine that he's fucking oh, with. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't vape like a normal person. All right, Alexa and I are getting out of here, Will. See you guys. Oh, we got a bit. We got a bit. We got a bit. We're just, I mean, we'll wait till the guy confirms it comes in. Alex, bring your brother on stream. I don't know if he wants to be on stream. Oh. How does he keep up with chat every time I, I come back? Every time it's just... I sit down and try to read it. Can, Can you rank all the Sydney beaches? I I think it might be controversial. I think Maruba is number one for me. A little Kong Wong. A little. The n the nude one. Oh, cool one. Yeah, that's nice. Lady Bay's nice. Another nude beach. I think Barubra. I really like Clavelli. Clavelli's nice for snorkeling. And just like, it's easy in and out. No sand to fuck around with. Alex, use your scroll to stop the chat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we can do so that. We've got power. Cronulla's not that nice. I don't like Cronulla that much. Fuck, I can't even wear his mouth. Why is his sensitivity like this? Is he gaming? Damn, Fairly Geordies is so old compared to I used to watch his videos. <laughs> it's just the haircut. Yeah, do you want to turn it on? It's getting hot in yeah. here, bro. There's a lot of big boys in here. Yeah, Fucking. I know. <laughs> um, do you want to pull up on stream? Yeah. Say what's up? Uh, all right. We're going to go out to the yard well, now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I... Twitter, just, we have you on Discord. Uh, yeah, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that right now. We're gonna, we're gonna set this up before you guys leave, I so I... I, to, I, need, I don't know how this called. Add friends. Here, I'm gonna give okay. you... Well, well. You I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Did you, uh, did you do I do it like this? Hold on. I don't, dude, I'm yeah. such a fucking boomer with Discord no, too. But oh shit, here it is. Here it is. Add friend, but I think I don't know what mine is. You know yours? Yeah. Oh wait, mine. <laughs> it says it right here, bro. You're such a fucking boomer. Five eyes to get stronger and destroy it. was very, very funny. What? Like, so, what is that man's feed? Don't worry about that. I forgot we're on stream. Yeah, we're on stream. What are you guys doing? All right, I added you. Um, give it to give it to uh, Alex too, and then or tell Alex to do it as well. Um, all right, so you guys are leaving right now, and then we are gonna go. Um, we are also going to go to where like the vicinity of where you guys are after we chill here for a little bit.